for the opener. And there they go. Tender boy and outstanding debt begin the best. Patty all day comes away in third with Emperor's Gold to his outside and Curlin's new moon is from the extreme outside and he's making a move into third. So it will be Tender Boy making the pace from Outstanding Debt. Far outside races Curlin's New Moon, Emperor's Gold from between runners, and Patty All Day's at the tail of the field. Tender Boy, the big long shot, making the pace from Outstanding Debt and Curlin's New Moon. Emperor's Gold wants to go. Donovan Miller needs him to relax. He's two and a half off the lead, and he's about three lengths in front of Patty All Day. 25 seconds, the opening quarter for Tender Boy and Rudy Ignacio. At the 5 8 better than a length to Curlin's New Moon in the clear. Outstanding debts up close from the rail. Emperor's Gold has the fourth position, little more than three and a half off the lead, and two lengths in front of Patty all day. Emperor's Gold's beginning his move, and so too is Patty. 49 seconds for the half. Tender Boy, Curlin's New Moon. Outstanding dead is third. Emperor's Gold continues to close in, and Patty all day to the far outside gets to length in that big stride. Here comes Emperor's Gold and Patty all day. Emperor's Gold will get first run on Patty all day. And Curlin's New Moon tries to stay on from the inside. Emperor's Gold, Curlin's New Moon, he's right there with them. And Patty all day, Curlin's New Moon's running a big one, repelling the bit of Emperor's Gold. Here comes Patty all day to the outside. Patty all day and Curlin's New Moon. Curlin's New Moon's running a huge one from the inside. Patty all day to the extreme outside. Curlin's New Moon. A big time winner. A heck of an effort. Repelling both Patty all day. The trifecta $8.15. And the dollar super $60.50. Second race, number four. She loves it. One pound over. Race two in 22 minutes at 138. And there they go. She loves it, comes away and last. Gracelet is showing pace with Blessing or a Curse and Overbrook. Overbrook is quicker than her rivals from the outside. Lady Bountiful forwardly positioned. Then here's the favorite. She loves it, second last. And Frosty Millions is the last of all. Overbrook making the pace. Blessing or a curse right behind her in second. Lady Bountiful forwardly placed from third in the two path. Break of three lengths to the heavy favorite. She loves it. Striding into fourth, covering Gracelet. Frosty Millions, the last of six. 24 and one fifth for Overbrook. Working with two and a half, entering the back stretch. Lady Bountiful's into the second spot. Three parts of a length to Blessing or a curse. Another two to She Loves It, who has the fourth position. Let's call her five lengths off the lead. Almost a length to Gracelet. Another four back to Frosty Millions. And the half one in 48 and two fifths. Overbrook on the lead by a length. Lady Bountiful gets closer heading into the turn. Better than three and a half to She Loves It striding into third. Lady Bountiful will get first run on She Loves It. Lady Bountiful gets to the lead at the three eighths. She Loves It begins her move and Gracelet's following after her. Overbrook begins to tire a bit. She loves it, reeling in Lady Bountiful at the quarter pole, and Gracelet's in the fourth spot. Lady Bountiful with that early move. Here's the heavy favorite. She loves it right on by. Gracelet fires into third. She loves it. Off the turn. Gets the lead and kicks away from Lady Bountiful, and Gracelet's third, then Overbrook blessing her a curse and Frosty Millions. She loves it. At one to four, opening up on this group. Lady Bountiful still in second, then Gracelet third. She loves it much the best. Lady Bountiful second, Gracelet third, and fourth place will go to Overbrook. Back to back Kentucky breads on our Tuesday card. Race one had one Kentucky bread against the four New York breads. Same scenario in race two, the lone Kentucky bread getting to the winner's circle. This one was bred in Kentucky by Gainesway Thoroughbreds Limited. 3-4, Kentucky Bread Double, $23.60. And there they go. Swift start for Zanato. Nico Strong is matching him. Nico's putting his nose in front. In the third position, races Chaton. Forecaster comes away running in fourth. Then you like that. And Rolo Lothbrok has been guided to the far outside. He's making a move into fifth. Five lengths off the two leaders. Two by two by two up the back stretch. 
Nico Strong and Zanato match each other's speed. Two links to Forecaster tracking smartly at the 3 8. Two and a half to Jaton, flanked by Rolo Lothbroke. Nearly five, do you like that? Zanato reclaims an arrow lead from Nico Strong. Forecaster's been ready to tackle the top two throughout. He gets within a length at the quarter pole. Chaton guided off the rail, three off the lead in the fourth spot. Another length and half to Rolo Lothbroke. Not really picking it up to this point. He's under pressure, not really responding. At the tail of the field, you like that. Zanato continues his personal battle with Nico Strong. Chaton's now the late threat. Here's Chaton to the outside. Chaton makes his move, a training double for Beth Miller Saul. Chaton wearing down Zanato. Nico. Exact of $42.60, the trifecta $31, the dollar super $239.50. A 4 1 double, $10.60. Early pick three, bookended by Beth Miller Saul, $25.62. 3 4 1, the winning combination. And there they go. New Stones and Playboy Johnny vie with one another. Playboy Johnny just a little quicker. And Soaring Star comes away in a good position from third. Kismic Kid has the fourth spot outside of Sounds Good, and Fort Chauncey is the last of six. And Playboy Johnny is the speed of the speed, and he leads by a length to New Stones and Soaring Star. Kismic Kid's in the fourth spot, three off the lead, heading into the turn. Sounds good, a little less than three and a half from the front along the inside. It's about three and a half back to Fort Chauncey. Let's call it seven lengths from first to last. Playboy Johnny keeps his lead. New Stones gets a little closer. He's within three parts of a length. Sounds good. Has been traveling beautifully throughout. He has run. And here he comes up the inside. Playboy Johnny and New Stones. And Sounds good pursues from third. Playboy Johnny on the glass drop. New Stones pushing on by. Sounds good is third. He's two off the lead. It's on the front end, New Stones. New Stones in the center of the track. A late charge from Sounds Good up the inside. Here comes Sounds Good, Sounds Good, and New Stones. New Stones from Sounds Good. Then Playboy. A 7-3 exact to $7. 7 6 trifecta, $2.15. Dollar Super, $18.90. 1-7 double, $16.20. 417 pick three, $5.45. Early pick four combinations, $58. And there they go. Care about this is out for the lead. Mia Bella shows pace. JC the Destroyer is amongst the early leaders. And here's the favorite, Honorable Prophet. The Greys in the two path vying for the second spot. Break of nearly five lengths to care about this or make that Princess Maeve. She races with Collins Gogo. So Mia Bella makes the pace by two lengths to the favorite Honorable Prophet. Care about this makes the move into third. JC the Destroyer's fourth. Princess Maeve has the fifth position. She begins her move six or seven off the lead. And Collins Gogo's at the back. Mia Bella gets all of the attention near the quarter pole. Length and a half. Honorable Prophet pursues from second. She tries to cut into the margin. Care about this is third. Princess Maeve's winding up from the fourth spot. Mia Bella, the one to come and catch, turning for home. Mia Bella with the lead. Honorable Prophet continues to chase her to the eighth pole. Mia Bella still with the lead. Honorable Prophet tries to come and get her. She's getting within a length. She has a little momentum. Mia Bella trying to get to the wire. Here comes Honorable Prophet to the outside. Mia Bella's going to hang on. It's 7 to 1. Honorable Prophet second. Care about this third. Fourth place. A 6-3 exact at $26.60. 6-3-5 trifecta, $8.60. A dollar super, $32.75. 7 six daily double, $40.60. One seven six pick three, good for $70.37. They're all in there. And there they go. It's hot out in Schwarbertown. Throw it down immediately out of the gate. Hushton comes away in third. My man Mo is fourth. Then busting the rules, Posse Tisley. Roll with my Posse second last. Vickers Legend is the last of all. And Schwarbertown is fleet of foot. And look at him go through the early stages. Schwarbertown very sharp these days. He builds up four heading into the turn. From it's, out, it's hot out in Hushin. 
My man Mo has the fourth position and Posse Tisley. Roll with my Posse's eight or nine off the lead, covering busting the rules. And at the back is Victor's legend. Schwarbertown has built up five lengths at the quarter pole. Hushin makes the move for second. It's hot out, holds that spot. My man Mo to the extreme outside. Schwarbertown's coming back to his rivals. Posse Tisley's trying to close. Schwarbertown with the lead. Hushin up the inside. Posse Tisley's also in the battle. Here's Hushin scooting on through from the inside. Posse Tisley makes a move for second. Schwarbertown backpedals. Hushin has the lead in deep stretch. It's Hushin to win it. Hushin from Posse Tisley. Roll with my Posse third in front of Victor. The trifecta, $80.50, a dollar super, $636. Six three double sixty four dollars seven six three pick three fifty seven dollars twelve cents. Seventh race scratch number one the final. They're all in there, and there they go. Lover's Leap is showing good speed. Also out there races Lumber from the inside. Breeze Burner, Breeze Burner to engage Lumber for the top spot. Lover's Leap sits in third. Best surprise from his inside, Hodane Shane from his outside. Antley's Courage comes away running in six, five lengths off the pace. Then Americans are 1029. Anything possible is the last of nine. And Breeze Burner is the first of nine. Three parts of a length to lumber from his outside. Best surprise from the rail is third, two off the pace. Lover's Leap from between runners. Hodane Shane outrunning his odds. Three wide making a move for third. Antley's Courage is five or six off the pace with American Czar. Another two and a half to 10.29 finding his stride. Anything possible's at the back. Breeze Burner and Lumber mixing it up from the very beginning. Breeze Burner takes off turning for home. Breeze Burner the one to beat. Lumber is second. Lover's Leap tries to quicken. 10.29 finding his stride to the far outside. Breeze Burner kicks away from his rivals. 10.29 late on the scene into second outside of Lover's Leap. Breeze Burner finally gets this victory. He's been knocking on the door. The trifecta, $27.37. A dollar super, $309. Three two double thirteen dollars twenty cents six three two pick three fifty dollars seventy five cents. One more race on the Tuesday card. Our eighth and final. Our Tuesday nightcap. Scratch number one. Be like Boston. Five and seven both. Just about ready for the nightcap. And there they go. Unflappable Max is showing speed. Also, their race is seeking opportunity. Social fan, cross-eyed cat amongst the leading four from the inside. Unflappable Max, a narrow advantage through the early stages in the two path. Pay the vet as the fifth position. And to his inside races Jamography and Valuable Will from the rail. Farther out races Giant Sandy and Caustic Prince is the last of all. Unflappable Max and cross-eyed cat vie for the top spot. Social fan pursues from third. And also up close to the action from the outside races, seeking opportunities in the clear, and he makes his move. Pay the vet is a little less than two off the lead midway through the turn. Invaluable Will, four lengths from the front, then Gemography, Giant Sandy. And towards the tail of the field is Encaustic Prince. Seeking opportunity up to the front. Cross-eyed Cat stays with him. Unflappable Max gives way. Invaluable Will tries to commence a bit up the rail. Pay the Vets also third. Vying for third, but he's under left-handed urging. Gemography now tries to quicken, but it's seeking opportunity. In deep stretch at 14 to 1. And it's Jim Aquilano to sweep the late double and give him three on the Tuesday card. Jim continues with a tremendous the trifecta, get back to that payoff. The late double, $41.20. The late pick, $355. The late pick, four $1,023.50. The Tuesday pick, five, $1,917, $17.50. Here's the trifecta, $96, and the dollar super, $686.50.